This is a review of our 2013 Chalet Alpine trailer that we bought uh, about five years ago. Since then, we've done lots of improvements on it. First thing we did is we put a trailer hitch on the back so we could carry our extra material with us. And, and I wouldn't load it extra heavy, but we do carry some extra uh, things like our raft or whatever when we go camping. We put a light, a motion sensor light at the very top that's uh, solar operated. And then I ended up cutting a hole in my ceiling because I could never keep the trailer up uh, when it was in the, in the garage because the ceiling was too low. But that I boxed off and made it so that down the road I could put a fluorescent light in there. So that made a big difference. On the front of the trailer, we added a second LP tank and a larger battery, which give us lots of gas to be able to go and, and do things. We also added a sway bar, which goes over and connects to our hitch on the truck. In addition to that, on the truck, we, we put an extended trailer hitch so that we can put the tailgate down on the pickup while we're carrying the trailer and we don't have to worry about it running into the jack stand. Inside the trailer, we did lots of different improvements. First of all, we cut a door down underneath our storage compartment so that we could get in there without uh, having to remove the cushions and everything. We took out all the cushions, the original cushions, and we put those away and stored them. And we bought ourselves a bed that would um, be up full time, a mattress so that it would be up full time. And then we have lots of storage underneath the mattress. We took the legs off the table so that they are not falling down all the time. And we just used the original table for that bed. On this side, we bought these floor chairs, which are really ideal. They fold up and make into a high chair. And it makes it really convenient. We also uh, built a little area over here. Let me just move a couple of these around so that we can see better. One is the thing that I did is I said on this side, it said this is not a storage compartment, but I opened it up and made a divider so that I could at least store a few little things. So the, the divider makes it to where I can store a few things on the right side and still not be in the way of the heater and so forth. On the back one, I did about the same thing, only I, the only thing in there is the cords. And so I made it to where our first aid kit and other things go back in there and are hidden away. Now, the ideal part about this is the table. I can set the table down, uh, well, let's, let's start with the, with this extra thing here. This I built as a countertop because our countertops are only 27 inches. So I added this countertop in so that we got lots of room for food prep and so forth without having the difference of elevations of the stove and so forth. I can still have my sink up and have access to that. I built in a Kleenex box into the side of it, which gives us, a, so that you don't have your Kleenex out all the time. Now we have the table that I built on this side, which gives storage underneath, and uh, it allows me to set the table down and sit here with the microwave being up at all times. The microwave is plugged into an inverter, which uh, allows me to operate the microwave without running a generator and so I can uh, cook at night or whatever we need to do there. The lighting system was a big problem in these trailers. We see people turn the lights on and there's so much glare they can't see. I've seen put lampshades over the top, but that wasn't the way I wanted to handle my lighting system. My lighting system I did by putting in a LED lighting strip all the way across the top 
it plugs into a USB cable on the other side. I also added this little adapter here that uh, from Kokri is, is a brand name on it. I cut that into the side and added that in. Gives me a couple of USBs here. Gives me a cigarette lighter adapter. And it gives me a um, switch that turns everything off for my lights. It also tells me the how my battery is doing. Right now I'm sitting at 13.5 volts because I'm plugged into electricity. I also added some hooks so that we had a place to hang up our keys when we came into the trailer and put in this little temperature gauge which I got on Amazon that tells the temperature and the humidity along with the time. Um, we put the smoke alarm down here which used to be up on top and would go off every time we used the stove. We added a little tray here that we can keep miscellaneous things and that connected to the refrigerator. So we can still use the, everything and uh, I do have a paper towel holder that I'm going to mount on the front of this so I have my paper towels right here and everything will be conveniently located. Now if we did have an extra person with us, you saw how I had this chair stored originally. If we had an extra person with us, we could turn this upside down and set it in the opposite direction. And make our, make our bed with one of these chairs. And there would be room for one extra person to sleep here if they needed to. I hope you enjoyed some of the improvements that we made on the trailer. Um, it's taken us a little while to get it put together the way we need it and the way it works best for us. But uh, happy travels and enjoy your camping. <laughs>